What's up, Isaac and Friends fam, and welcome back to Need for Seed Heat. Sorry, I just can't keep away from the vroom vroom machines. If anything, like, this has really brought me back to me really... So this one is our Honda. By the way, Dubby is our sponsor, so if you want to check them out, they make an awesome energy drink powder for gamers. It is really tasty, really good. Check them out, say hi. Use code INF10 for 10% off. Uh, let's actually do a little more customization on this bad boy real quick. But, um... Sit your ass down. Relax. There we go. But, uh... Yeah. So, racing games have actually gotten me thinking a lot about, like, my cars that I've had in real life. So... My first car, believe it or not, was a Lincoln Mark 8 1996. So for those of you who don't know what that is, the Mark 8 was one of Lincoln's sports car variants. Yes, I know. Lincoln's make sports cars? What is this? Yeah, it happens. Um... It's Raziel. Just making sure you're okay. We got a job to do, remember? But, uh... At any rate, like I said, you know, and if you're wondering, well, how did Isaac get a luxury car? He works in retail. See, at the time, my parents, like my dad's retired military, owns, operates his own 18 wheeler, all that jazz. They were actually thinking about like selling their house, so they got a loan to buy some property, which they did, and they happened to have some money left over. So they found this Lincoln 1996 Mark 8, which had like 60, 80,000 miles on it, and it was in really good condition, like 
really nice, and so, you know, I was turning 16 at the time. My parents had the spare cash, and like, hey, you know, be a good idea for him to have his own car. So, it's like, you know, you don't get a deal like that every day. So, they opted to buy the car for him. And um, Lincoln Mark 8 is, you know, it's it's kind of a beast of a machine for sure. It's got a V8 engine in it. Real fun. Like, it's, it's definitely... You know, it's something that if I was driving now, I probably would not be able to afford the insurance. No, no kitty, do not be trying to knock off my keys from the table. <laughs> Moon Pie is sitting on my lap and he's trying to toy with my keys now. <laughs> like, listen here, fuzzbutt. <laughs> I love you, but I prefer her you not knock my keys off the table. <laughs> Especially when they're not even doing nothing to you, kitty. <laughs> Out of my way, Pinky! <laughs> so, I had that. My second car was a Buick. I don't remember what it was. I know it was two years younger than the Lincoln. It was a 98 model. Really, game? Okay, yeah, start restarting that, not doing that, not having the game just like slam us into the wall that we should have missed. <laughs> don't you love it when video games do that? <laughs> I don't, but hey. But, uh, funny enough, like, I think part of why. I've tried to hide or tried to get away from my love of racing games, or more or less because of issues with my with my dad. Who let's just say I had some problems with some of the things that happened when I was a kid. Hey, kid. Yeah, Pie is like. I will sit on your lap, meow. You cannot escape the fuzziness. Of course not, Mr. Kitten. So. But, uh... Yeah. Which, my last car was actually a Nissan Stanza station wagon. 1986. This thing was a white box on wheels. And what happened to all three cars, or the first two, is literally I got an accident. Like, the first one was not actually my fault because what happened was it was raining, the light is green, the two people in front of me, I'm rolling up, I'm seeing the light turning green as uncommon and I did not realize until it was too late that these people were not moving at all and I'm like Duh. so you know my dad always taught me hey if you're in a situation like that don't panic just run I tried to save my Lincoln by kept wanting to try and go over to the next lane that way I could just go around them but no one would let me in no one I kept just having cars zoom past me even though they could see that I was trying to avoid an accident they didn't care so finally I tried to turn the car into the ditch by which point it was too late and my air shocks were out so if I had hit them bumper to bumper my car would have been fine pretty much, but because I hit them bumper to grill, the whole driver's side of the car's like hood got crunched. So yeah, there's no, there's no rescuing the car after that. <laughs> the next one is like, I'm getting a snack from 
Tom Thumb, which is a gas station uh, franchise down here in Florida. I'm getting gas. I'm getting a snack at Tom Thumb. I checked to see if anybody's coming as I'm pulling out. Nobody coming. I go to buy, take a bite of my snack. And next thing I know, I'm sidewinded by by someone's like 98-year-old grandmother, literally 98-year-old woman. Hammers into the side of my car. <laughs> As you can imagine, I was not happy. <laughs> it's it's not a it's not it's not a happy thing when you're awesome sports car that you love ends up getting well not even the sports car at this point it was the Buick which by the way we used to call my Buick the boat and there was a reason why we called it the boat because it's not that it didn't handle very well far from it it was still V6 decent engine car but we called it the boat because when you drove through water, because, you know, here in Florida, you can have a situation where, like, the water is super duper deep. Anyway, going back to topic, the boat. By the way, um, it is a hole. I'm going to pass it to my bro. Oh, oops, that's not what I was wanting to do. I was actually wanting to change cars. But the, uh... The boat had a habit of where if you could... If you drove through water, it literally felt like you were floating. It displaced a lot of water. And you never really had any trouble going through it, so we just called it the boat. I even had, like, a ship's captain hat that I would wear sometimes when I was driving with friends. And... <laughs> And so yeah, that's that that was the Buick, that was the boat. My last car was like I said, it was a Nissan Stanza station wagon. So for those of you who don't understand, like this is like a tiny tiny little car. That is a box on wheels. It's like a minivan. And, uh... So... This thing, by the way, because it was made in 1986, yeah, it was made of real freaking metal. So this Nissan Stanza that I am, you know, driving, basically, or was driving, because I don't own it anymore, I actually ended up selling that one. Um, for really cheap, because I live practically next door to where I work. So, you know, eight years ago, I figured, oh, you know, I don't need this car. I can totally get along without, you know. totally get along without it. I forgot the part like where, you know, everything that I like doing, for example, like the D&D shop and everything. Yeah, that is an hour's walk away from where I live. So if I want to play D&D or whatever, I got to try and beg someone for a ride. And that's been my reality for eight years. I still maintain my driver's license. Like, I still have a driver's license. So, I end up actually driving, like, all of my, like, my buddy's car when we're going out or whatever, because I'm apparently the safest driver of us all. But, uh... God, this car... Alright, first... First things first, we're going to upgrade this car because 
this thing is like slow as frick for some reason, even though I've already upgraded like several of the parts on it. <laughs> One moment while we fix this. <laughs> Hi, kitten. Hi, kitten. We must fix the slow car. Wow. <laughs> So we're gonna up this puppy's ability as, as best as we can. So we're gonna try and boost this car massively. There we go. But, uh, yeah. It's actually funny because I'm right, normally when you drive down here, like, you have all the rednecks with their massive trucks that are like, I don't rule these roads, I'm big. And I'm sitting there driving this 1986 Nissan Stanza station wagon going, like, you might be bigger than I am, buddy, but, uh, <laughs> my car's real freaking metal. <laughs> Your truck won't survive the impact. <laughs> Which is ironic because literally the Nissan, I swear, trying to kill me and Lich like several times. I think it was literally legitimately like cursed and angry that we had like brought it back to life from from its grave at like an auto shop, which is where I bought it. And I got it for like $1,300. It had over 100,000 miles on it. It was in rough shape when I bought it. Like, this thing was not in good shape. I wasn't really thinking too clearly. Because at the time, I was a pizza delivery guy. And pizza delivery doesn't work so well if you don't own a car. So... You know, I'm worried more about losing my job and all that, because I'm like, dude, I've got to get a car uh, really, really fast, so... I probably could have gotten something a lot better, but, like, me and my, like, 22... 20-year-old brain was not thinking <laughs> at that point. So, you know, there you go. So I ended up, with, which is kind of true because I did end up having to constantly fix that car regularly. Like, I had to constantly replace parts in the thing. In fact, if I remember correctly, like, one of the head gaskets even went out on me and I had to go have that replaced. Which, to be fair, like, I actually know a lot about cars. Like, I can actually replace a lot of stuff myself. Brakes, alternators, batteries, you know. Anything that's not, like, internal in terms of, like, like a speedometer or an engine part. Like, that stuff I'm going to have to take to a mechanic. But, like, anything else, like, you're freaking... Really, game? Really? God, I hate it when this happens. 
Yeah, I know. I'm I'm sucking tonight because it's like two o'clock in the morning for me right now as I'm recording. And this car is definitely not like at all <laughs> maxed out for anything. Good God! This is supposed to be an Aston Martin of, like supercars, bro. Like, bitch, my Honda that I made in this game is better than this. But no, like, going back to topic, Gillian, like, yeah, that Nissan stands a legitimately, I swear, it legitimately tried to kill me <laughs> several times. Why? Because it would constantly die on S-curves, like, in a way where, like, if somebody hit you, like, because they didn't see you, like, that, that kind of thing would happen. Now, thankfully, nobody ever shot, nobody hit us, even though I'm pretty sure, let's be honest, this thing was literally made of real steel. So if anyone actually, like, hit the Nissan, the, their, their car would just crumple. There would be nothing left. <laughs> So, you know. God, I hate it when it does. Like, even when you... You ever have that case where you're trying to tell the game, hey, I want the car to turn this way, and the game's like, nope, I'm gonna ignore that command. And like, why? And like, uh, cuz? Like, bro. Mm -hmm. And of course, somehow this car is gonna go magically at like mock speed. So that you never catch it. Why did it do that? I didn't even hit the camera button. Again, like I said, somehow this car in front of us is going at like mock speed. So we'll never be able to catch it. Even though our car is technically like 50 performance points above. Did I just hit retry event? I think I did. Like, even though, like, seriously, the uh, the Aston Martin is, like, freaking... ...30-plus performance points ahead of the other cars, we're still losing somehow. <laughs> Purportedly. Remember, we're supposedly faster than everyone else. So we have like the best shocks, the best. drive train or whatever we're supposed to have for this car. Heck 
kitty. The reason why I keep trying to do this race over and over again is I think that we're supposed to do some kind of... Seriously, there is that moment in time where it feels like you're, you can be driving some of these cars and you'll fucking not have any control in the game at all. Pumping the gas like I'm supposed to, I can't seem to have any control over what the car is doing. And nothing irritates me more than that. Kidding. Nothing's more irritating in there. What did you expect? You're in petting distance, cat. <laughs> Can you expect to sit in petting distance and not be petted? <laughs> Found your way back here, huh? Can't stay away. <laughs> this is actually funny because our other car that we have is not even up to that same point. Meow. All right, kitty. Shoulders it is. Right, meow. Yeah. Nope, foods. <laughs> Moon pie is a kitty cat. He goes mad. He goes, Mew, I'm fluffy, I'm cute. Some nights, it's just about enjoying yourself. No! Right? I did not mean to end the night. Oh, crap. <laughs> wow, I'm just having a terrible night tonight. And like I said, somehow I get the feeling that she's gonna like steal her dad's car and that's gonna get impounded or taken to.
That that just sounds about right. You here? Yep. Yeah. Figure it was time to see what this thing can do. Wasn't that your dad's car? Lucas okay with that? It's as much my car as his. Dream killers are gonna raise their game tonight. We gotta do the same. That's why we're here. Just remember, we do well, and the League has to give us a shot. No pressure. Yes, something's definitely gonna happen to that car. Yeah, that car is definitely going to have some problems. Because it's going to end up happening. Somehow, I'm like, this is just my prediction of this. Like, she straight up just like, stole the car, so then her... Ow! 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 Moon pie! Ow! I'm not a scratching post, kitten. I love you. You love me. Why do you keep attacking me with claws and time? You want to see the view back here? You are really missing out. <laughs> but you see, what you fail to realize is I am the view back there. All I know, I'm just toying with you, right? Edgewood Valley heading east towards the raceway. All right, I'm on it, Control. Shaw responding. Copy, Control. Heading to Edgewood Valley. Copy, Control. Responding. Sounds like we're gonna have company. Yeah. Probably what I, just what I thought was gonna happen. Over, or do I gotta stop you? I'm gonna cut and run through the trap. What about the race? It's over. This cop's not letting go. Can you help me out? Sure. We're a crew. I'm calling it. This race is a butt. Everybody break. Here we go. Time to wreck Sha. Perfect. Oi! Puerco! You're the one who ran into me. Go make me smash up that bag. Maybe taking Poppy's car wasn't such a great idea.
Will do. Yeah, Lucas is gonna be mad. Oh, he's gonna be so pissed. Big Brother's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Especially as often as he works on that. If Anna had gotten that thing impounded, jeez. intensified last night between the city's high-speed task force and its growing faction of rogue racers. City residents were treated to a bizarre scene as hundreds of dollar bills filled the night sky, leaving the task force to answer some difficult questions. What happened last night was clearly a setup, an attempt to stain the reputation of my unit. Why? Because we are winning. Ha, ha, ha. Gotta say it's a little sticky in the low gears. But once it opens up, man, this thing's a beast. Now that is a pissed man. Think. Mira esto. Look, I'm sorry, I should have told you. I Damn straight you should have told me. You had no right to do this, Anna. No right. I'll leave. No. You know he was my puppy too, right? And in case you forgot, he built this car to be raced. Call that racing, huh? It was until that asshole cop showed up. Doing what you do, they're always gonna show up. Do you want to ruin your life? I'm trying to make something of my life. I'm actually really good at this. Good. This is good? This looks like it was driven by a college dropout who can't race for shit. That's real nice. 
I don't have to stand here and listen to some has-been who's too afraid to get behind the wheel. We're drivers! Why don't you call me when you remember that? My old man felt. <laughs> ah. Need a hand with this? Dale. Take two if you got them. <laughs> I need some parts. Tried to save it as much as I could, bro. Man, ah, oh, Papi is car. <laughs> I feel bad for Lucas. Like, yeah. Come on, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to, to me go on and on. And I'll you guys, see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. And take care, my gaming friends. Bye.